Winnie's Haunted House by Valerie Thomas and Corky Paul. Here we see Winnie having a snooze and her cat Wilbur. It was a lovely, warm, sunny afternoon. Winnie the witch thought she'd have a sleep. She sat down in her big armchair, shut her eyes and in two minutes the, she was snoring see that totally exhausted poor winnie the witch absolutely exhausted and there's her cat wilbur winnie's big black cat thought he'd have a deep sleep too. He curled up on a cushion, shut his eyes, and in three minutes... What do you think happened to Wilbur the cat? He didn't fall asleep. A bumblebee flew in through the window. Bzzz, I see the bumblebee. So it didn't actually manage to get asleep to sleep. Wilbur liked to chase bumblebees. He jumped up at the bumblebee and Missed. There he, there he is, jumping up. He jumped up again, higher, and missed the bumblebee. He couldn't catch the bumblebee. <gasps> now, what's happened here? In the big vase of flowers on Winnie's table crash smash splash oh oh Winnie woke up oh no my best vase she said did you do that, Wilbur? But she couldn't see Wilbur anywhere. Can you see where her glasses are? On her forehead. So she's not wearing her glasses. There you see, she's searching. Where are my glasses asked Winnie who took them she bent down to look for them Wilbur there you can see his tail shot out from under Winnie's chair oh, that's the chair the armchair where could he hide behind the curtains oh i beg your pardon here we have his tail behind winnie's armchair and this is where he's hiding behind the curtains we can see the bumblebee observing everything swish crash down came the curtains 
on top of Winnie. Oh dear. Blithering broomsticks, she shouted. Winnie crawled out from under the curtains. Who did that? Was it a ghost? Is my house haunted? Wilbur raced up the stairs. Where could he hide? Now we see Wilbur the cat. Then he saw the perfect place. Winnie would never look up there. So where do you think he would hide? Now you can see the bumblebee and Winnie. Wilbur jumped onto the banister and then sprang onto the chandelier. There we see the chandelier and it's swinging. Uh, chan the chandelier swung from side to side. Wilbur hung on tightly. Oh, it oh, looks like it broke. Perhaps the chandelier wasn't a good idea. Wilbur jumped back onto the banister just in time. The bee sees everything. Can't we see what's happened to the chandelier? Crash. Crash. It definitely wasn't a good idea. Winnie rushed into the hall. My beautiful chandelier, she cried. My house is haunted. There must be a spell to fix a haunted house. So there we see Winnie going through her spell book. Winnie picked up her big book of spells and quickly turned over the pages. Yes, there is. There it was, a spell for fixing a haunted house. Wasn't it? It was hard to read it without her glasses. She shut her eyes, stamped her foot three times, waved her magic wand and shouted Abracadabra. And what do we think we have now? Oh dear, oh dear, lots of ghosts inside Winnie's house. Whoosh! There was 
a great gust of wind and everything went dark. Owls and bats flew overhead. Skeletons rattled on the staircases. Spiders' webs hung from the ceilings, thick with hairy spiders. Ghosts slithered through the walls. Ooh, ooh. They cried, Winnie's house really was a haunted house. So if we turn over the page, Boo! shouted a ghost. Winnie was very surprised. She jumped back into a sticky spider's web. A big hairy spider's spider tickled her nose. Uh, poor Winnie in a spider web. Wilbur came running down the stairs. Meow, meow, he cried. Don't be afraid, don't be frightened, Wilbur, Winnie said. I must have made a mistake with my spell. She looked in the big book of spells again. And a swooping owl knocked her glasses onto her nose. So that's where they were, she said. Winnie looked carefully at the spell. Now she's wearing glasses. It said to make a haunted house. Oh dear, said Winnie. I didn't see to make. So there's poor Winnie realised her mistake. Turn over the page. And you can see Winnie sitting on the stairs reading the spell from the magic, the book of magic spells. Winnie looked at the new, next spell. It said to fix a haunted house. Do the haunting spell backwards. That should work, Winnie said. So, she opened her eyes wide, waved her foot high in the air three times, waved her wand backwards and shouted, Abra, ar Bada karba, ar da ba karta. Oh, it's backwards. Abra, kadabra. And Winnie does look a little bit worried there, doesn't she? Whoosh, whoosh. All was quiet. Winnie's haunted house was. Winnie's house again. 
But it was a very messy house. I see. Curtain is down. Chandelier was smashed. Can't remember what else one bird did. There were bits of vase. Yes, he jumped into the vase of flowers. Heaps of curtains and chunks of chandelier everywhere. He looks worried. Never mind, Winnie said. I'll soon clean it up. She waved her magic wand, shouted Abra Cadabra. And as we now can see, Winnie has her house back in order. The curtains are up, the chandelier is up, the vase is all mended together with flowers intact. And the vase, the curtains, and the chandelier were as good as new. That's a very useful spell, Winnie said. Then Winnie sat down in an armchair. She thought she'd finish her sleep. Wilbur climbed onto her lap. He really needed a sleep. We've had an exciting day, haven't we, Wilbur? Winnie said. I don't suppose I'll ever know what was haunting my house. I hope not, Wilbur thought. Purr, 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 he said. There you see, Wilbur, the troublemaker, didn't get found out. And that is the end of this story. So, there is Winnie's Haunted House by Valerie Thomas, illustrated by Corky Paul. Thank you for watching.